Number 10. Flight 2303. China Northwest Airlines Flight 2303 took off from the city of Qi'an for Guangzhou at 8.13 a.m. on June 6, 1994. There were 160 people aboard, 146 passengers and 14 crew members. Just nine very short minutes after takeoff, the aircraft broke up in mid-flight and crashed on a farm in Mingdu Township just 30 miles from the airport. There were no survivors. 24 seconds into the flight, the crew had reported that the plane was floating and making a strange sound. A few minutes later, the aircraft began to experience an unstable pitch-up. By the time it flew over Mingdu, the pilots were no longer able to fly at the plane's assigned altitude. They engaged the autopilot, but this only made things worse. The plane rolled violently to the right and then to the left as the stall warning activated. In just 12 seconds, it fell 15,476 feet at a speed of 464 miles per hour before disintegrating in the air and scattering the landscape with debris. Parts of the wreckage were found over an 18-mile area of farmland. An investigation blamed poor maintenance for the accident. Just hours before takeoff, the plane underwent maintenance at an unapproved facility where the autopilot was connected improperly. It was the deadliest plane crash to ever happen in mainland China. Number 9. Ancient Viruses as the COVID-19 pandemic enters its third year, it's probably safe to say that many people are more aware than ever before of just how dangerous viruses can be and how easily they can spread. They're also incredibly resilient, as a group of scientists learned in 2014 when they found two huge ancient viruses frozen 100 feet deep in the Siberian permafrost. Cue the X-Files theme song. Unlike modern viruses, these prehistoric pathogens, dubbed Pithovirus sibiricum and Molivirus sibiricum, are large enough to view under a standard microscope. Researchers brought them back to life with alarming ease and they quickly became infectious after being revived. Thankfully, these simple single-celled organisms don't pose much of a threat to humans, but they're not the only frozen viruses that could be released into the environment as climate change accelerates melting. In a more recent study, scientists identified 28 different viruses in a pair of 15,000-year-old ice cores from the Gulia ice cap in Tibet's Kulun Mountains. The samples were taken at around 22,000 feet above sea level. The team's findings add to a growing body of research about the ability of certain organisms to survive in extreme environments and how viruses respond to climate change. And the methods being used could help when it comes to learning about pathogens on other planets. Lead study author Zhi Ping Zhang developed a decontamination method to study the microbial life forms in the ice cores from the Gulia ice cap. The technique could potentially come in handy for identifying genetic sequences in other extreme icy environments, including Mars and the Moon. Number 8. Flu Infected Bodies More than 40 million people perished during the 1918 Spanish influenza outbreak, which left almost no corner of the globe untouched. That year, six young men died on the Norwegian island of Svalbard, which is located less than 800 miles from the North Pole in the High Arctic. Their bodies were unearthed in 1998 by a team of scientists who traveled to Svalbard in search of frozen corpses infected with the Spanish flu virus. The researchers identified fragments of the virus in the brains and organs of the young men, marking a first step in learning more about the little understood disease. From start to finish, the outbreak lasted for just a year, but it was extremely deadly, causing high fevers and inflammation that led to sufferers drowning in their own bodily fluids. Knowing it was likely only a matter of time before humanity was struck with another devastating global pandemic, the team thought that it was important to better understand the disease and why it was so quick to kill. And while the Arctic is an ideal place for finding traces of old viruses that have gone dormant in the ice, it's also a danger zone. As permafrost and ice melt at unprecedented rates due to climate change, the chance that one of these dangerous pathogens escapes into the environment and infects a living being is ever-present. Scientists are becoming increasingly fearful of this possibility, especially when it comes to diseases that have the potential to kill people in mass if given the chance, like smallpox and anthrax. Number 7. Century-Old Scotch British explorer Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton led three expeditions to the South Pole between 1901 and 1919. During the Nimrod expedition from 1907 to 1909, the crew set up headquarters in a hut on Ross Island in the McMurdo Sound. Their journey was unsuccessful, and they ultimately abandoned the cabin, leaving behind pretty much anything they didn't need to take with them, including three crates of rare 19th century McKinley whiskey. In 2010, more than a century after it was left behind, the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust embarked on a joint mission to find the scotch with White and McKay, the owner of the distillery that sold the alcohol to Shackleton. 
A search team discovered the whiskey beneath the floorboards of the deserted base, where it had sat in freezing temperatures for over a century. But the conditions weren't cold enough for the liquor itself to freeze, and it was still in a liquid state. The Scotch company's owner flew the precious cargo to Scotland in a privately chartered jet in the hopes of replicating its long-lost recipe. In 2013, the whiskey was flown back to Antarctica and returned to its original resting place as part of a program to preserve the Antarctic exploration era's legacy. If given the chance, would you take a sip of this old scotch? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Number 6. Prehistoric Plants About 10 years ago, a team of Russian scientists discovered a cache of ancient plant seeds near the Kolyma River in Siberia, where a squirrel had deposited them around 32,000 years ago. They were retrieved from 124 feet below the permafrost near the bones of mammoths, bison, woolly rhinos, and other prehistoric mammals. The seeds belong to a flowering plant species known as Silene stenophylla, or the narrow-leafed campion. After their first unsuccessful attempt at germinating the badly damaged seeds, the team extracted genetic material and grew 36 plants in culture dishes. They were slightly different from modern S. stenophylla plants with narrower leaves. The flowers eventually produced their own seeds. The successful experiment suggests that there's a gene pool of ancient species hidden in the permafrost waiting to be resurrected. And learning more about how S. stenophylla remained viable for so long can help us preserve modern seeds for potential use far into the future. Some experts doubted the validity of the Russian team's radiocarbon dating methods and questioned whether the seeds were as old as the researchers claimed. Others found no fault with the study and were fascinated by the results, which they see as a hopeful sign about what else can be brought back to life after laying dormant for tens of thousands of years. Number 5. Lake Vostok While flying over East Antarctica during the 1960s, a Russian pilot noticed a large, smooth patch of ice, suggesting that there was a lake underneath. American and British experts confirmed its existence in 1996 through airborne radar experiments. Known as Lake Vostok, the buried body of water is 143 miles long, 31 miles wide, and up to 2,625 feet deep. It's one of the world's largest lakes in terms of size and volume and is the biggest subglacial lake in Antarctica. Researchers discovered that Lake Vostok is actually much shallower on one end than the other while mapping it using remote sensing techniques. It consists of two basins separated by a ridge, which scientists believe may be a thermal vent. The lake is liquid despite its below freezing temperatures of 27 degrees Fahrenheit due to the weight of the overlying ice. Nobody knows how old Lake Vostok is, but its waters remained sealed off and undisturbed by sunlight for around 15 million years before it was accessed by a Russian drilling team in 2011. More than 3,500 species were identified in samples taken from the lake through DNA and RNA sequencing, including bacteria, fungi, and single-celled organisms called archaea. Scientists found both fresh and saltwater species, indicating that the lake may have been connected to the ocean before being supplied by glacier water. Number 4. Anthrax In 2016, residents of Siberia's Yamal Peninsula experienced a mysterious anthrax outbreak. More than 2,000 reindeer were infected, dozens of people were hospitalized, and at least one child died from the bacteria. Officials were at a loss to explain what caused the disease to spread. Scientists suspected that climate change was the culprit. They theorized that a heat wave thawed the frozen soil, or permafrost, which contained the decades-old carcass of an infected reindeer. The animal died around 80 years ago and was buried in the permafrost until the heat wave melted a thicker layer than usual, exposing the remains and releasing the bacteria into the environment. Living reindeer caught the disease, which then spread to humans. The Yamal Peninsula sits high above the Arctic Circle where most of the soil stays frozen year-round, exceeding depths of 1,000 feet in some places. But as climate change accelerates the melting of the permafrost, it's likely that there will be more outbreaks of anthrax and other diseases as pathogens from long-dead animals are released into the air. Number 3. Ancient Forest Around 50 years ago, tree stumps and logs began popping out of Alaska's Mindenhall Glacier. In 2013, researchers from the University of Alaska noticed that a lot more trees were appearing. Many were still upright and even still contained their root systems and traces of bark. The trees are from an ancient boreal forest that became encased in ice over a thousand years ago. Scientists identified them as either spruce or hemlock trees. As the Mendenhall Glacier advanced on the forest long ago, it emitted streams of gravel-filled meltwater, which cloaked the forest. The glacier then plowed over the trees. This process is being observed in the Taku Glacier, which is Alaska's only glacier that is currently growing. 
As it slowly descends downhill, the gargantuan body of ice is crushing rocks and spewing meltwater over a forest of cottonwood trees. Researchers expect the Mindenhall Glacier to continue receding, which it's been doing since 2005 at the steady rate of 170 feet per year. The 12-mile-long glacier has receded by at least two miles since 1958 after losing just a half mile of ice from 1500 until then. Number 2. A Buried Mountain Range Over a half century ago, Russian scientists noticed some unusual gravitational fluctuations beneath the Antarctic ice, spanning an area roughly the size of New York State. Later studies revealed the presence of a vast mountain range buried beneath three miles of ice. Known as the Gambertsev Mountains, it's roughly the same size as the Alps, with the highest peak measuring around 15,000 feet. The 750-mile range is likely part of a rift formed by the separation of tectonic plates during the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana around 250 million years ago. It sits beneath a 6 million square mile layer of ice known as the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. Scientists reported in a 2011 study that the mountains are probably very old based on their resemblance to the Alps. Yet their steep, rugged shape is more characteristic of a young mountain range. The team detected magnetic anomalies similar to those found in one billion year old rocks nearby, indicating that the mountain's origins date back to around the same time when continents and subcontinents collided. To learn more, researchers plan to drill through the ice and into the mountains to collect samples for further study. Number 1. Antarctic Plant Life Scientists have found a plethora of evidence suggesting that Antarctica was covered in forests and lush greenery during periods of intense global warming. Around 90 years ago, during the age of the dinosaurs, the continent was a temperate rainforest, standing in stark contrast to the barren and frozen climate that dominates the landscape today. It significantly lacked ice coverage and had an annual mean temperature of around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Wildlife thrived even through the four months of darkness that the region underwent every year. At the time, the planet was experiencing its warmest climate in the last 140 million years. But these warm periods date back even further, as one team of researchers learned in 2016 when they found fragments from trees dating back around 260 million years to the world's greatest mass extinction event. As today's world endures rapid climate change, scientists are exploring the possibility that plants and insects could once again thrive in Antarctica. Today, the continent's warmest areas are starting to merge with the coldest subarctic regions. According to Professor Ian Hayes, an expert on the Antarctic aquatic ecosystems who spoke with the New Zealand-based publication Stuff, the subantarctic is more diverse than Antarctica when it comes to mosses, lichens, and flowering plants. As global temperatures rise, these organisms have a better chance of surviving should they reach Antarctica, according to Hayes. Once primitive organisms emerged, more complex life forms would follow, eventually including rodents and other small mammals. Some fish and crabs are already migrating southward toward Antarctica, but these migrations threaten to snuff out rare and fragile creatures that are found nowhere else on Earth, including some that we haven't even discovered yet. Scientists are still exploring different habitats throughout Antarctica, and they're worried that any life forms within these environments will be wiped out by invasive species before we ever even knew about them. Thanks for watching. Have you ever made a shocking discovery in ice? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time for more amazing videos right here on American Eye.